please consider joining us on our website. You'll have access to Interesting Minds, Rhyme Series, and a tutorial so you can see how I do it. I can't guarantee you'll figure it out, but I will teach you how I see people. Biden did not really go after you or any of his Democratic challengers. What do you think of that? Well, Joe Biden has an advantage of having sky-high name recognition. He's been in the, the public uh, space for a long time. And so he's focused on Donald Trump. And I agree with the fact that we have to solve the problems that got Donald Trump elected in 2016. And that's what Democrats should be focused on. I, I wonder if yes, it's Yang. And although I do not agree with a lot of his policies, out of all of the left candidates, I like this one which is dangerous. If you were insulted by the, by the sleight of hand there, or the sleight of um, lack of acknowledgement in Pittsburgh, in, you and the others. Not at all. I mean, he was a sitting vice president for eight years. He's leading in the polls. If I were him, I would have done the exact same thing. Okay. Inter He's honest with himself. He's honest about the situation. He's shown a little stress, but everyone pretty much does when they're on TV. Interesting. You want to do universal basic income, and to prove it, you want to give people in Iowa $1,000 a day. Oh, it's $1,000 a month. I should, uh, sorry, sorry. I couldn't afford 1000 bucks. $12,000 a, <laughs> yeah, 12, a year, I should say. I correct myself. Well, are, are you pandering to the folks in Iowa to try and get that attention? Well, we've already done this in New Hampshire. Uh, and what, what's fun about this is that when people actually get 1000 bucks a month, you see they do very positive, productive things. The family He's a little stiff in the neck and shoulders, but the rest of his body is moving. And so when you see that stiffness in the neck and shoulders and then everything else moves... It's just that nervousness coming through. Does not mean weak mind, but extremely nervous, cautious personality. I mean, New Hampshire is paying their daughter's college tuition bill. The same thing's gonna happen in Iowa. So there are all of these abstract fears about people getting a thousand bucks a month, when in real life, if Americans got a thousand dollars a month- What do you think that would... does? What, what, what changed? So he's explaining, and he's going by, what has already been done. These people were paying off their daughter's tuition or paying their daughter's tuition. That's his example. The fact that he's using a study of facts, it's been tried, this is what we saw, versus it'll just work, trust me, is why he's a very likable individual. Just for people if you do that. Well, Because well, some would see it as just a simple handout, as you know. You know, what's phenomenal is there's a lot of data on this. And what happens is that people's mental health improves, stress goes down, relationships improve, their physical health even improves over time, their trust uh, in community members and their society goes up. So there are a lot of phenomenal uh, effects and we're already seeing this even on a very, very small scale with the family in New Hampshire that have been doing this for since January 1. I'd be interested to see how people in Iowa respond to that, as you mentioned. Those are actually true facts. When you take the stress of money away from people, they're going to get happy. They'll have time to actually interact with their neighbors, which is why there's that trust issue that starts to come in. You're not running in the rat race anymore, paying attention to only getting back and forth to work. Those real world applications really do work on a certain scale. I just want to point out that this is just one family, so the cost is minuscule compared to a nationwide rollout of such a policy. The scope of Yang's study does not include what will happen to inflation and the economy if you print an additional $3.5 trillion in debt to pay for universal basic income every year. However, the good news is that I believe Venezuela have already conducted such a real-world study of what happens so the rest of the world does not have to. So the average voter is going to listen to him and listen to that and realize that that's true. He knows it's true. You can see it on him. He's relaxed on that. He's not hiding. He's not being evasive. He's got that stiffness from the stress of this interview. How do you beat this administration when you're growing at 3.2 percent? That was the GDP number for the first quarter this year. Well, GDP is uh, uh, like a, a highly flawed indicator of how we're doing. I mean, GDP is at a record high. Meanwhile, our life expectancy has declined for three straight years because of an increase in drug overdoses and suicides. So if you ask the average American which you care more about, your neighbor's life expectancy. And we see the believe me look, but he is talking with his hands. He's not having any deceptive or dishonest body language. It's just stress. He's speaking the same language as the average American when it comes to concerns and worries. And the difference between him and Bernie is because of that believe me look. He wants you in on his side. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. I've seen the studies. He's not lecturing with that finger that Bernie did constantly, which will make him a very likable guy. See or this phantom GDP number. And, and Donald Trump made the same know, case when know, he was the running for office. I don't know if you can make the case that it's phantom. I mean, it's, it moves markets quite literally. Another question here. You and he was agreeable. 
So someone had disagreed with him and you see his reaction. He didn't scoff or go back on it. He didn't go a negative head shake. He went on a positive head shake. So he's been disagreed with by the interviewer who is a stranger and has the reputation of being conservative. And he doesn't completely disagree with him. He just is listening politely, positive head shake without the negative attitude. He didn't take the disagreement as an attack. The mind processed it as information discussion coming in, which is also good for any candidate. Support the Green New Deal, correct? You, you support Medicare for all. There's a hearing on that today in the House we're waiting for. You support a carbon tax. You for, support free or drastically reduced tuition at community colleges. Who would you, we got a big list of all the candidates so far, who do you believe is the most liberal or the most progressive in this field today? <laughs> it's, it's a fun question. I mean, it's a big field. Uh, you know, it's like for me, the liberal and conservative, it's not left, it's not right, it's forward. We have to start solving the problems of the American people. And we have to know that one of the main things or several of the main things that are driving Americans uh, to record levels of stress are our sky high education costs and our sky high health care costs, the leading cause of bankruptcy. So we have to come together. And the congressperson who was just talking about it, he, he said correctly that the cost. I like that move, too. He said correctly. And you see him look down and he kind of pushes away and does a negative shake, those things together mean nothing negative. It's kind of like, I can't claim that this congressman can. I learn from them. So it's not of me. Humility. That's what that says. I'm humble. So when you look at all the other candidates and they have no humility, they have no plan, they have no facts to back themselves up, even if it's from a study that I don't agree with, they sell themselves, they manipulate, and they spout nonsense out of their mouth. This guy does not. In our healthcare system are out of control and we need to bring them down. I didn't get a name from you, by the way, on that question. Oh, you noticed that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a sense of humor, which is also a positive plus. A sense of humor that doesn't have somebody in his ear, please. Go eat, laugh now. <laughs> Joke is, if I like his personality, again, I don't agree with his policies, but if I like his personality, that means all the other average Joes in the world are seeing, whether they can articulate it or not, that he's mentally a good guy. Maybe there'll be another Bernie incident in the DNC again this year. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.